if you're a fan of shonen anime or manga, chances are you've seen a character with a glowing aura surrounding them. That can be a number of things depending on the series you're watching. One unique thing about Battle Shonen is their power system. Whether it's a show like Dragon Ball, which has a basic power system, or a show with a more unique and complex battle system like Hunter x Hunter, there's one thing these series have in common. The common or unique abilities that are exclusive to a specific character are powered by a universal force in which every character in that series has access to. This time, I'll be explaining the most common type of power source I've seen in multiple anime series. Ki. Or qi is believed to be a spiritual energy existing within all living things. In Chinese, qi literally translates to air, and figuratively as material energy, life force, or energy flow. The concept of qi can be found in many Asian belief systems. Qi has been solidified in Chinese philosophy as early as the 5th century. The ancient Chinese believed that qi was everywhere, spreading throughout all things, linking surroundings together with one another. That includes humans as well. They believed that by understanding the rhythm and flow of Qi, that they would be able to come up with exercises and medicine that could provide a stable and long lifestyle. Huangdi Neijing, or the Yellow Emperor's Classic of Medicine, is an ancient Chinese medical text that has been treated as the go-to source for Chinese medicine for more than two millennia. The text is historically credited with first establishing the pathways called meridians. Meridians are pathways throughout the human body in which Ki flows through. In the manga and anime series Naruto, Naruto's chakra battle system shares similarities with the meridian points. Each shinobi has chakra points in which chakra flows through their body. Chakra flow can be interrupted when the chakra points are struck. Of course this feat isn't an easy one since chakra points are invisible. Only those possessing the Bayakugan can see the chakra network of their opponents. In traditional Chinese medicine, symptoms of various illnesses are believed to be either the product of disrupted, blocked, and imbalanced key flow through meridians or deficiencies and imbalances of key in the Zhang Fu organs. Dragon Ball Super Episode 43 focuses on the after effects of Goku using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 against Hit. The energy output is so intense. Goku ends up developing delayed onset key disorder. He fails to properly use instant transmission, a technique that allows him to teleport to any key signature he can sense. His key flow eventually returns to normal, so his meridian points are no longer unbalanced. Now I want to go back to the Zhang Fu organs for a second. The term Zhang applies to the yin organs, which are the heart, liver, spleen, lung, and kidneys, while Fu refers to the yang organs. Small intestine, large intestine, gallbladder, urinary bladder, stomach, and sanjiao. You've probably never heard of the sanjiao. That's because it's a hollow organ that supports the other organs through key flow. The zhang fu are also connected to the 12 standard meridians. Each yang meridian is attached to the fu organ, while the yin meridian is attached to the zhang. Traditional Chinese medicine often seeks to correct these imbalances by adjusting the circulation of qi using a variety of techniques ranging from herbal therapy, food therapy, physical training regimens consisting of various martial arts, moxibustion, tuina, or acupuncture, developing your heavenly and earthly qi, allowing for your body to maintain itself. The concept of qi is implemented in many different practices. Let's start with Feng Shui. Feng Shui is an art that focuses on calculating the balance of Qi and interactions throughout the body and its surroundings. The release of Qi is believed to affect the health, wealth, energy level, luck, and many other aspects of the individual. Objects in your surrounding can affect your Qi flow by slowing it down, speeding it up, or redirecting Qi flow. In order to maintain a healthy and positive aura, Qi mustn't flow too slow or too fast, and Qi must always flow. If it comes to an abrupt stop, the results can be destructive. In addition, key should not be blocked abruptly. To sum it up, 
Feng Shui focuses on keeping the key in your body balanced and noting how the key of certain objects in your environment could affect yours. In the Dragon Ball series, Goku's trump card is his Genki Dama or Spirit Bomb. To use the Spirit Bomb, he gathers energy from his surroundings. From there, he can channel it into energy attacks or absorb the energy to make himself stronger. In the Bleach series, an energy force known as Reishi can be absorbed from the environment and used and weaponized. Reishi makes up spiritual bodies such as souls, including hollows and soul reapers, and even entire worlds like Soul Society and Waco Mundo. Ki is said to be a force that binds the universe, earth, and humanity together. Next, Kui Gong. Kui Gong involves coordinated breathing, movement, and awareness. It is traditionally viewed as a practice to develop and balance Ki. With roots in traditional Chinese medicine, philosophy, and martial arts, Kui Gong is now practiced worldwide for exercise, healing, meditation, and training for martial arts. Typically, a Kui Gong practice involves rhythmic breathing, slow and stylized movement, a mindful state, and visualization of guiding Ki. In a hit anime series, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, breathing techniques are used by humans to enhance their physical strength, and mental concentration to superhuman levels. This allows them to fight on par with demons. In Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, an energy source known as Hamon is produced by controlled breathing. Ripples of energy course through the user's body, giving them an energy similar to sunlight. This energy known as Hamon can be used to fight supernatural creatures like zombies, vampires, and pillar men. Next, martial arts. Ki is used in many Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, and Japanese martial arts. The most notable of the Ki focused or internal force Jin martial arts are Bagua Zhang, Xing Yi Quan, Tai Chi Chuan, Southern Praying Mantis, Snake Kung Fu, Southern Dragon Kung Fu, Aikido, Kendo, Hapkido, Aikijutsu, Luo Han Quan, Lu He Bifa. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Jesus Christ. I definitely butchered all of that. In Kung Fu, there are two types of in Kung Fu there are two types of personal forces. Li and Neiji. Li refers to traditional physical force, such as that produced by the muscles. Resilience of muscles, strength of bones, speed and timing of attack, and so on. In order to enhance your Li force. All you have to do is work out, go to the gym, get jacked and shit, get stronger. Lee Force is pretty normal. Neijing is where the good stuff is at. Neijing refers to internal forces produced via advanced control over psychic energy. Key. The level of Neijing Force depends on the extent one can exercise over one's willpower to release an inner key energy. Within the framework of Chinese martial arts, every person is believed to possess the inborn energy of Qi. Martial artists can harness the force of Qi so that it is strong enough to be applied in combat. When Qi is being directed by one's will, it is called Neijing. Unlike the Li force, Neijing is said to be invisible. The pivot point essential to Li combat is not necessary in Neijing meaning you don't have to be physically powerful to use Ki in combat. At the point of attack, one must loosen themselves to generate all Neijing energy one possesses and direct this attack stream through one's contact point with an opponent. The contact point only represents the gateway to conduct Neijing energy at the point of attack. In Fist of the North Star, the main character Kenshiro uses an ancient assassination art known as Hokuto Shinken. A lot of Hokuto Shinken's techniques consists of Ki being channeled into the opponent's body in order to destroy them from the inside out. In the Dragon Ball Super manga, Super Saiyan God Vegeta would quickly power up to Super Saiyan Blue at the impact of his attack before reverting back to Super Saiyan God to conserve energy. When practitioners of Kung Fu pass their prime, their physical capabilities decrease. However, their power level only increases the longer they live. Next, Acupuncture and moxibustion. I hope I said that correctly. Acupuncture is a part of traditional Chinese medicine that involves insertion of needles into superficial structures of the body. Skin, subcutaneous tissue, muscles. At acupuncture points, 
to balance flow of heat. This is often accompanied by moxibustion, a treatment that involves burning mugwort on or near the skin at the acupuncture point. Again, in Fist of the North Star, Hokdo Shinken uses hidden pressure points in the human body to achieve various effects, healing, paralysis, involuntary movement, and even death. There's a lot more, but uh, I'll save that for a future video. Lastly, Taoist sexual practices. You join your key together with another by clapping their fucking cheeks. You just, you just fuck. But I'm gonna try to uh, find an example that uh, doesn't involve fornication. So there are multiple instances in Dragon Ball where characters combine their aura. Like uh, Gohan's father and son Kamameha, Goku and Vegeta's final Kamameha at the Tournament of Power, uh, Goku receiving everyone's energy in order to finish off Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Goku receiving everyone's energy. And the most notable version of this of joining powers is Fusion. Dragon Ball's famous for their fusions. Uh, two warriors joining together to create a single entity that includes all of their energy and key. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Unfortunately, the existence of Ki has not been scientifically proven. But who knows? If you keep an open mind, there's no telling what this world has to offer. <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go